In California, there are earthquakes that are happening. Hello, fellow sniffers. My name is Jenna, and I am Marlene's sister, if you don't know me. If you're new to this channel, we are a bird-loving channel. We promote engage, not cage, which means we engage our birds, not keep them caged. This is gonna be a little bit of a rough video, not cut as well as usually our videos are. And this is because if you haven't heard, in California, there are earthquakes that are happening. Not right in Los Angeles, but we're definitely feeling a magnitude of of three and four and there is talk that they're gonna be stronger and there's gonna be more 50% chance that there's gonna be a six magnitude earthquake in the next seven days and 11% chance that it's gonna be a 7.0 magnitude earthquake in the next seven days as well so that brings us to bird safety there's definitely a lot going around about how to keep yourself safe but our next priority is keeping our birds safe there's not much on the internet so these are just things that tips more likely that could help during an earthquake and we're hoping that it doesn't happen first off but if it does happen these steps are going to prevent our birds from getting injured or harmed or too overwhelmed so first thing that we have on our list is minimal objects in the cage obviously keep the food bowls and the waters in the cage but if there's a toy that swings too abruptly or it's big so right now I'm pulling out this mirror toy that Jersey has in her cage because it's kind of bulky this could definitely be something that could hurt her another good thing is to take out the toy and check it out and be like well maybe you know what this is too old now and besides the earthquake maybe it's time to replace it so yeah I'm gonna remove these two toys and if there's any kind of toy that has long strings or ropes on it or something that they can easily get tangled in like a net we remove that in case they flap or their little nails get caught caught in it once the earthquake is over you want them to calm down you don't want them to realize like now I'm caught and I'm flapping around and I'm getting nervous because that could really scare them and it's not fun for them especially since we have a few birds if that happened to three or four of them that that's gonna be chaotic for us right after an earthquake or even during an earthquake make sure your toys are good but also I think it is good to have one toy in case they need to chew on something right after just make sure it's not heavy doesn't have a lot of branches something they definitely can tear and not get caught on the next thing is close off all the walls of a cage so we have this thing here usually people have like a slider under here that we layer so if there's seeds or droppings on it you can change it but unfortunately on this cage right now we don't have it in a few of our cages we don't have them so what we're gonna do is layer something over it so if anything falls on it it's not going to touch the bird what also we're gonna try to do is put a blanket over this as well so if something does fall again maybe it's not going to cause this very scary noise for them this will somewhat be protective what we're gonna do is put a blanket over it because one it'll be a little bit more protective and then two hopefully it'll somehow catch the noise I don't even know if that makes sense, but this is gonna be our experiment. I mean, still gonna do it, but it's not gonna be as bad as... It somewhat takes out the echo a bit. That's what we're gonna try to do. Right, little Jersey? This is for, we have a few layers going this way and then a layer going that way. And so we put it like this just so like it's not going to fly out. It can catch into here. It's not always going to fall. Yeah, and this you is know? like on the fly type stuff. Yeah, this is not something that is proven to work. This is not something I read online. This is just my own thoughts that I thought would be helpful. I think personally the safest place for a bird during an earthquake, that is an earthquake, I'm not saying any other natural disaster, is the cage just because worried about movement, better for her to hit the cage and hit something else or something falling on her because our cage is pretty sturdy you know it should hold them up honestly i should get in the cage <laughs> yeah during the earthquake <laughs> hi. Right? hi go in there with you so yeah if your cage is big enough you want to hop on in there with your bird be fun hi
And then another thing is obviously have our bird cage covers that's going to keep any little particles coming in. It's also going to keep it shaded and dark so everything's calm. On that note, maybe dim the lights around them. Put on some music if there's a way for you guys to have music on that's gonna be very calming for your bird. Vinny agrees with all of this as well. Also, this is very important. We're going to move this cage. We're moving Jersey's cage and Vinny's cage and probably majority of our birds' cages. Put them in an area where there's no windows because a lot of glass can shatter everywhere and that's unsafe, not only for your birds and your pets, but also for you. So stay away from windows and we're going to probably move Jersey's cage and other cages more central to the room so nothing comes on them or hurts them or flies in them or they swallow something unfortunately these are very scary circumstances and i just want to plan for the worst rather than not the other thing is keep away from gas lines or you know where they are in your house best keep them away from the kitchen in any fireplaces that you may have for emergencies post earthquake make sure you have the cages like travel cages right next to them since we have so many birds i think what we're going to do is have each of their travel cages right next to their cage so it's going to be a simple out and then right back in tips for if your bird gets nervous maybe have a towel nearby if they're going to bite you because they're a little bit nervous you can wrap it around your hand do a quick thing most birds tend to be very loving and scared in that moment so they'll want to step up and hopefully your bird does that for you make sure you have food and and water somehow maybe get water bottles maybe get gallons of water together so you can put in your car and food where it's like okay I have two boxes full of food and you can put it in your truck you can put it in your car you can give it to a friend whatever you need to do and then I guess the most important thing number 10 on our list is make sure you keep yourself safe because if you're not safe there is no one protecting your birds other than you so make sure you stand in the doorway that you need to stand in or you go outside. Any tips that you see online or maybe you're an experienced earthquaker, I'm sorry for that, but use your knowledge and what you've learned and put down any comments if you have been in an earthquake and you have had a bird. Um, <laughs> Knowledge is power, so if we could be a community like we are on Carrot Station. Vinny, Vinny, I am talking here. Yeah, so on that note, make sure you comment anything helpful. Maybe I forgot something and you want me to know, that'd be so helpful. Maybe I forgot something and you want the rest of the world to know, that's awesome. Share it on your Facebook, share it on Parrot Station, comment below. And one last thing, just be safe, be on top of things. Better safe than sorry. So we're gonna go ahead for the night, we're gonna get our birds situated because it could happen in the middle of the night. And if it does, at least our birds are prepared. I hope this is helpful. Our videos are usually way more fun and entertaining than this. So if this is your first time here, please like, comment, follow, give us a thumbs up. Anything of that sort would be really helpful and keep you informed of bird stuff and pet stuff. Everyone be safe. Love you. Bye. Let me do some whisper, whisper. Do you want to whisper for YouTube? Oh, you want to do a proud bird for me? You're a proud bird. That's so beautiful.